Apple has done something unthinkable that is making Apple MacBook Pros or in fact MacBook Airs great for deep learning task. I'm not saying this as an Apple fanboy or an iShip who just spent 3 lakh rupees to buy an M3 Max. I'm not saying that because I love Apple but what something others could not do. For a very long time in the industry deep learning was possible only on NVIDIA GPUs primarily because of CUDA. It's an NVIDIA specific NVIDIA kernel software that NVIDIA developed and did not open source. That means all the best things that you could do in the deep learning world, you could do only on NVIDIA GPUs. And that did not change a lot until Apple released its own chip, something that they called Apple Silicon. And Apple Silicon itself did not make a huge difference. I mean, it made a difference in the way speed of the inference of large language models were doing. So for example, this is a demo that you are seeing in real time, no speed up, where I'm using Olama with a quantized Mistral version and you can see the speed in which I could get the inference. This speed in inference is what the starting point, but that is not everything. Apple went one step ahead and then released a new library called MLX. MLX is just another library like PyTorch, JAX and a lot of these deep learning frameworks that are optimized on a particular chip. For example, as we know, JAX is something a lot of deep learning research units were using and MLX is optimized specifically for Apple Silicon chips. So it is supposed to give you faster inference. It is also supposed to enable you for faster training. But the problem is MLX as a library itself cannot change everything. And that is where the team went ahead and then started putting together really good examples that would enable anybody with an Apple Silicon machine. Imagine how many people on this planet would have an M3 or M2 or M1 Air, M3 or M2 or M1 Pro. I mean, this is a ridiculous number of users with highly powerful computing machine and Apple is enabling these users to run large language models and deep learning models on their machine completely locally using this framework MLX. That has sparked the community interest in having crazy demos. For example, the one that you're seeing right now is part of the MLX latest version where you can just directly pull any model, any large language model directly from Hugging Face Model Hub and then start using it locally. You don't need anything like chat GPT or you don't have to pay a subscription. Everything locally from directly from Hugging Face Model Hub. Imagine the possibility of having thousands of models just on your Mac if you have got Mac. I mean like, I mean, we are talking about a small subset of users, but still the fact that Apple has enabled all these users to use large language model locally is something that I'm still uh, trying to believe that because when you buy an Apple MacBook Air, it's not something that you would expect to do pro level task. I mean, that's why they have a separate pro lineup. But the fact that this model, uh, this laptop can run latest model, for example, this one, it is a very recent model from a company called Argilla. And this model is available for you to use as part of the MLX library framework. And this is quite amazing because the fact that it's not now one or two models or one or two individuals interest. Now Hugging Face has seen the growth in the popularity of MLX models and then have created separate label and then there is a separate MLX community and that has given further rise to a lot more fine tuners and researchers to release MLX compatible models like this 5.2 coder which is a fine tuned version of 5 and that is available for you to use on Apple Silicon machine. At this point you might decide to stop me and then comment saying hey until now everything that you have been speaking about is inference where you use an LLM but none of these examples you gave me talks about let's say LoRa or training an LLM and that is where the next one is there is a Twitter user Wang Choi I think like I'm not pronouncing it correctly. So this person is actually creating a lot of demos where you can see how to use MLX as a framework on Apple Silicon machine, not only for inferencing, but also for training uh, QLoRa, training LoRa, tra creating your own fine tuned models. 
and not just that this person is creating demos but this person is actually writing a book and entire content of this book is available for you to use with all these examples so this person wants to teach you deep learning with ai with using both pytorch and mlx as a framework so that means mlx is no more a small pet project with an apple but it is a community driven initiative where people are actually creating tutorials examples book and all the other things around mlx for you to learn and use mlx as a platform for your deep learning initiatives at this point if you are wondering if apple silicon machines like the m1 m2 m3 machines or drop in replacement for nvidia gpus for deep learning tasks this is the same question i was asking before i ordered my computer i mean 3 lakh rupees is a huge money in indian money and before that i wanted to make sure that i'm ordering the right com computer but i did it primarily because i'm used to using mac for last like 7 8 years and i like the battery i like the user experience but it is still not a drop in replacement for nvidia i contemplated so much before ordering an nvidia uh, laptop primarily because nvidia laptops even though you can do lot of deep learning most of these nvidia laptops come with 8 gb vram 8 gb graphics memory that makes it difficult for you to use for most of the stuff that we cover on this channel and this uh, there is a comparison where whisper is compared with nvidia gpu versus apple silicon machines and you can see from the time difference that apple silicon is not it there as this reddit user puts it this is not supposed to be a scientific experiment this gives you a rough idea what the mlx framework is capable of a 2 year old macbook using whisper is almost as fast as a 1 year old gpu it is definitely not a replacement for nvidia gpus but this is here to stay and it has a true potential to turn every computer that you have like especially if you have an apple silicon machine into a deep learning engine whether it is for inference whether it is for training and i'm going to spend and invest a lot of time in learning mlx and teaching more mlx stuff on this channel and if that is something that you would love to see please let me know in the comment section otherwise i appreciate apple and the community for creating an alternative for what has been an nvidia's kingdom see you in another video happy prompting